Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to get a web browser on your Vizio Smart TV. I'll actually show you three methods, okay? The first method is by using a streaming device. Now this one, you have to purchase something. The other two are free. You don't have to purchase anything, so do not worry, okay? So you need to get yourself a streaming device like Amazon Fire TV Stick, or Chromecast, or there's others as well. You can get those. And what you do is you connect that device to the Vizio TV. And once connected, you switch to the HDMI port on the Vizio TV using the remote. And to install a browser on a Fire TV stick, you go to the home screen, you click on the search box and type Silk Browser. Okay, and from the search results, tap on Silk Browser, click on Download or Get, to install the app and then you can finally open up the app and use the Fire TV remote to navigate and use the browser as you wish on your Vizio TV. Now, guys, if you are using Android based, uh, you know, operating system, Chromecast, you can use Google Chromecast. So what you do is you either mirror your phone or you mirror your PC. I'll show you how to do both. So for mirror your PC, for example, what you do is you connect your TV and PC to the same Wi-Fi, open a browser on your PC like Chrome, like I have right here. You tap on the three dot icon at the top. Okay, tap on that. Come here on cast, save and share. And then I want you to come here and select cast. Okay, and your PC will basically look for displays and you select your Vizio TV. So you can select whether you want to share your web browser screen or the whole system. Okay. And if you want to do this from your phone, you just connect both your with your TV and your phone to the same network, install the Google Home app on your phone, and then you open that up, select your Vizio Smart TV from the home page, and then next you select cast my screen. And it's really that easy and simple. So I hope this guide provided value to you. And if it did, consider smashing that like button as well as subscribing to Frequently asked questions and I'll see you in the next one.